Hi, this is Marina. I want to show you my essential equipment that I use almost on a daily basis. When you first start sewing, there really are a million things you could get for yourself, but you find out very quickly you don't need all of them. You literally work with the same stuff over and over. So what are my favorite things? Number one is probably a really good tape measure. You should get a quality one that measures the right length because a lot of the cheaper ones actually don't. As you can see, mine is so used. I've had this for years and years and I actually need a new one. It's also really handy if it's got a bit of a metal plate at the end because it makes measuring a lot easier. I've got mine from Hustmas made in Germany, but you can get these anywhere in the world. So get yourself one with a metal plate. Next, you want to have two sets of sewing needles for your sewing machine, one for stretch and one for everything else. I tend to work with very fine needles. I find they work better unless I'm making a coat. Then I get a 90, but for everyday sewing, I get 80 and for fine sewing, I get 70. I tend to have loads of these 70s around. Then you should have some fabric weights. Mine is really cute because it says frocks and frolics and I use them a lot when I'm filming and it needs to look pretty. When it doesn't need to look pretty and you're just looking for a quick way to do this, well, this is the solution for you. All you need to do is get an all sort of sweet um, jar and you can fill it with currency you don't need or your pennies and it will make it nice and heavy. I have got loads of different currency in mine from um, the old French currency and German currency and Danish and Swedish and wherever I go on holiday I collect some. They end up in here. It's actually really nice to look at but it makes a great fabric weight. Then I've also got sewing needles and when I see people buy sewing needles they always go for the really thick ones we call them tree trunks actually at work so I tend to use really fine needles they make your work really easy you can pick up one fibre at a time when you're hemming something so a fine needle is what you need to get then there are two different types of markers and I really like my disappearing ink pen because you can mark anything with it and after a while it will simply disappear. If you are marking something where you actually won't see afterwards what you've marked, why not use Taylor's chalk? Comes in different colors, blue is great on white but not in areas that you will see afterwards. And um, so for white use that one, but I like the colors because it's easy to see them. Then, of course, I've got this little baby. It is a magnet and it will pick up all your pins. And if bending down really is an issue, well, this works really well. All I have to do is to go and it'll pick up my pins if I just let them <laughs> go over the floor. And here they are. I've got two of them just in case I misplace one, which does happen quite a lot. Next, let's talk about the scissors. I think this cars are probably uh, one of the better scissors. Um, they come from Finland and I have got two here. You can have one with a fairly short tip for cutting out your fabric. I wouldn't get one with a very long tip unless you're an experienced sewist. And then I've got a small one which I can cut all my threads off with. It has a round tip and a lot of uh, beginners will actually get the really sharp embroidery scissors and whilst they are important more important is to have one with a round tip because you don't want to accidentally cut into your fabric and believe you me it happens when you have a very sharp tip so you want the tailoring scissors here the small ones which have a round tip so that you can just snip snip your threads off that's my scissors the other thing i tend to have and this is um, a beautiful beautiful piece of equipment it's a ruler loop turner it has got a sharp end which will hook in and you can pull it through and I just want to show you here this is from the olden days from my packets of ruler loops so if I make a ruler loop a really fine one for my bridal wear that I used to design and make well this is easy you just pull it through here hook it in and you can turn it then I'm coming to my little helper for fine fabrics. If you like to work with organza, devore, any of the stuff that's really slippery, crepe de chine, if you starch it first, it becomes almost like paper. You can work it like cotton 
and the first time you rinse it or even while you work it it will uh, lose all of its you know definition and go right back to soft and people will really wonder how you manage to sew that the other thing i always keep is a form band form band you can never have enough of um, and it's fairly cheap and you should just keep it it's great for necklines it just goes in and then of course it'll keep your neckline nicely in place this is a great one um, always have one there this one is one of my favorites it's violin on a roll sticky on one side and non-sticky on the other and you can use it for plackets you can use it around necklines i use it all the time and actually it's way cheaper at times than to get like metrage for something that really doesn't need metrage so i have one of those um i also have violin but this is absolutely great and that's it really that is all my little gadgets that i use on a day-to-day -day basis Thank you for watching and bye for now.